So, speaking of Atlas, last week, I already shipped it off, I think. Yeah, I think, did I ship that one? I did ship it, right? So, I don't have it anymore, but we we had a Atlas feature. I often feature his work on Sunday night, do a 24-hour auction Sunday to Monday. So, his Spirit of Destiny will be coming tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, and it'll run to Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern, in the Sorcery Community Facebook group and the Collector Art House Discord, linked at the Linktree link in the, in the show notes here, right? So the Sleeping Giant, he did the Sleeping... This is a Spellcraft card. So this is an artwork that was not used in Alpha, but it was commissioned by Elvira Palakowska. And he had the Sleeping Giant, At Atlas Thorn, had the Sleeping Giant Tess paired with the Quarrelsome Kobolds, right? So just take a look at this artwork, the Sleeping Giant. So there was a Sleeping Giant Tess that was done by Liz Danforth, was the original artist for that. And then... Um, Atlas Thorn did a version, a different take on that of a sleeping giantess with the Cabalds as a two-piece altar. All right, so we're going to get into this painting here. And what's going to happen is, I did not open this yet, guys. So this is, a, this is I know what it is, obviously. <laughs> I'm teasing it in a specific way for a reason. But you had the sleeping giantess and then the quarrelsome Cabalds by Alan Pollock. And what we're going to have here is next Sunday night, there will be a special auction that will run from Sunday to Monday. Um, so what, a six-day auction? Um, it always feels long. You know, I do 24 auctions because after 24, it feels long. But I, for, for very large, like significant pieces of high value like this, I like to do an extended period. And when I can give you guys notice, you're getting one week notice here before this goes live if you want to participate and raise cash to participate and and uh, have a chance to claim this one. But it's very rare to get a shot at Alpha Original Paintings at this point. A lot of the artists have sold their original work already. And um, it's not often that you have the original artist still able to offer the original Alpha. Some are being resold, even those come up far and few between. You know, Once they fall into collector's hands, especially if they pay a significant sum for them, they're not looking to just flip them, right? They, they enjoy them in their collection and uh, they don't come to market very often. So once they're gone, there's no guarantee that they'll, there's a bug on there, that they'll come back um, and they'll be available again. So you gotta take your shots, you know? There's many, although I have a wonderful collection that I'm very, very thankful to own and love and enjoy, um, there are several that I passed on or that I sold for the artist or for a community member and I'm just kicking myself saying, damn it, should've just bought it myself. <laughs> so. You know, sometimes you only get one shot. They don't come around a lot. The original paintings are obviously unique one-of-ones, and they're a special piece of sorcery. And there's not a lot of games that do original art. You know, they're all going digital. So to buy an original painting is, um, and to own original painting is something really special. Something to enjoy and be proud of. All right, guys. Here we go. The Sleeper. All right, so we're getting... A taste of history, guys. It's the sleeper, okay? All right. So we just learned something. The sleeper, sleeping giant. So it was not the sleeping giantist. It was commissioned as the sleeper. Sleeping giant created for grinding gear games. 921. By Liz Danforth, 2021 for Sorcery CCG, all rights reserved. So in the early days, guys, this is fascinating, right? In the early days, when Eric was commissioning art for Sorcery Contested Realm, we're talking 2017, 2018 timeframe through 2021 even, there was not Eric's Curiosa. People didn't know about Eric's Curiosa as a corporate entity. They did not know about Sorcery Contested Realm because that wasn't the name of the game. It was called Project Atlas, was like a code name that a lot of artists were using, or maybe the name that Eric was using when he commissioned them. The game, so she knew it was Sorcery CCG, right? But she didn't realize at that point that the company entity was Eric's Curiosa. She's calling it Grinding Gear Games. And at that time, Eric was still working for Grinding Gear Games. When, the, when Discord still opened up, he was still employed with Grinding Gear Games, the, the creator of Path of Exile. He was one of the, the three um, founding members of that magnificently successful company. And he was still working for them. It was only as he started approaching Kickstarter, they really started heating up and he separated from Grinding Gear Games and he fully retired and he fully dedicated to himself to Sorcery Contested Realm. So here we have The Sleeper or Sleeping Giant by Liz Danforth. 
You know, as you guys know, Liz has sold very few of her paintings. She sold the, um, she actually had the first painting record sale. And I've since uh, broken that record sale a few times over with, with sales I've done for artists and through consignment. Um, but at the time, she sold her court jester original painting for a five figure sum. It was fabulously successful. The person that bought it really wanted to own that painting. And she put it out there for private sale and said, just make me an offer. If I get an offer, I can refuse. I'll take it. So she hasn't, she sold a few pieces privately, but she's sold very few. And it's very rare that she's, she offers them. She wants to keep this. Um, she wants to keep her paintings, right? Cause she sees the great success of sorcery and she's kind of just biding her time. You know, she's, she's more accomplished, established in her career. She sells a lot of prints. She sells a lot of things. She doesn't need to sell, but she decided for whatever reasons, she wants to offer this one. So Dan says, just shut your mouth and show that painting, boy. <laughs> shut it. Shut it, Mike. Big talker. All right. He was a lot nicer than that. So here you go. The Sleeper by Liz Danforth. The Sleeping Giant. And it's in an acid-free plastic bag, right? So I don't know if... I don't want to take it out of the bag live on camera. But look at this gorgeous epic scene and you know what i kind of miss this in the painting i think is that covered by the text box a little bit that's pretty interesting there's a bit of an easter egg right but it's it's significant to the piece and this is often a technique that artists use where they have something of much smaller stature to fully allow you to appreciate the magnitude of this sleeping giant as if laying across the hills were not enough you have a, a couple reference pieces that that magnify the size so you have the human figure. So you get scale re relative to a human. And then off in the distance, these deer, right? Off in the distance. And it's beautiful scenic landscape. This is gorgeous. It's about, I think Liz told me it's about 11. It's not marked on the size, but it's about 11 by 14 or so. I'll get the dimensions, but it's, it's a nice large size. You see it relative, you know, conveniently to her mirror realm painting. This is a two-player play mat. And it's almost as large as that in a way. If I take it down to the bottom, it's not quite as large as the two-player play mat. But this is a good size because it's not... I was telling Liz, I was like, those usually do very well because they're not too big. They're not too small. So they're practical to display and they still feel substantial. And if you put a mat around this when you frame it, you could make it larger if you choose to or you could take it right to the edge. You know, A lot of collectors that have a vast collection and several paintings, sometimes they'll frame right to the edge so they could fit several along their wall. And of course, I, I don't tend to do that. I go with the mats and I go big. So, you know, wall space is going to be a problem. But it's a gorgeous painting. Um, beautiful, beautiful detailed landscape that really makes makes um, makes it nice. You know, I had Kyle Calazans on last Sunday. He talked about his spell slinger where he could have just done a simple avatar highlighting the spell slinger, but he did this like magnificent, robust, like super detailed background. And so did Liz here. It's really beautiful and elegant. And part of the reason, really the major, one of the primary reasons why we're going to wait a week is one, so people can raise cash if you choose to, if you want to participate in this auction. But also she is going to put out a uh, Patreon post. It's really going to talk about the concept of this piece, how she came up with the idea, the art direction. Like I showed you for the Spear of Destiny earlier, where I talked about the history of the spear and I, and I worked with the artist to tell the behind the art story. Um, Liz is going to do that through her Patreon. And that'll be very interesting to learn more about this piece and give you some time to think about it if you might be interested. But there you have it, guys. The gorgeous Sleeping Giantess, as it came to be known in the Alpha debut the sleeper sleeping giant created for grinding gear games interesting piece of history september 2021 